Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Crochet Happy I Am, I'm Nicole, and on today's video we are going to do some Dollar Tree crafting, but before we get started, I have to talk baseball. I went to the home opener, and unfortunately boyfriend couldn't come with me, so my mother-in-law went with me, and we had a blast. Um, I have never in my, I don't know, I've been an Angels fan since I was nine, and since then I have never gone an entire year without going to any baseball game. So this whole year with the shutdown has been a struggle, but thanks to YouTube and old games, uh, I was able to kind of watch a little bit of baseball, but it's not the same unless you're there. It felt so good to go inside the stadium and sit in my normal area and cheer on my guys and get a win. Oh, it was great. I can't believe it. Oh, I'm so happy. So if you haven't gone to a game yet, please buy a ticket, get in there, but I will tell you this, ordering your food through the MLB app, it's a great idea, but it's failing really bad. We waited an hour and a half to get our order, and we just ordered two drinks. That was it. Um, so my advice, bring your food. And as soon as you get in the parking lot, pick the place that caters to the section you're sitting and put in your drink order because otherwise you're going to miss a few innings. Um, but other than that, I am so glad to be back. I can't wait. Got more games coming, obviously. And uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and start talking about the crafting. So I came up with this idea to show because I'm seeing everybody doing different Dollar Tree DIYs and I figured I'm going to show off some of the stuff that I do with Dollar Tree things. Um, so I tend to have friends come over and hang out and stuff and I like to do little thank you gifts for coming over and hanging out with me. Um, for example, I'll show this one just a this was an extra one left over. And I literally do everything Dollar Tree cuz there's no reason to spend 50-60 on a cute little thank you gift bag. It's just little Dollar Tree bags. These bags will come normally two to a pack for a dollar, so 50 cents on the bag. And when I do it just all girls, I try to make sure to have something girly. So this is a bath wash with two bath bombs, only a dollar. And then of course it was also right before St. Patrick's Day. So they have these really cute different socks. This one's got a unicorn on it. So that was in there. And of course, because of the shutdown, you gotta have your sanitizer and then they have big bath bombs there which is awesome. I use these a lot. And then of course some stickers. And I thought a little photo frame. I thought it'd be fun if we took a group picture that day which we did and it was fun. And then they had these cute teddy bears. And I was like well who doesn't love a teddy bear? They're so cute and only a dollar. So he's cute. So today we're gonna do something different. We are going to take the water bottles that they sell and we're gonna decorate them. So it's not that hard to decorate. I already did this one. It's a, a ball of yarn in the shape of a heart with knitting needles. And it says, keep calm, knit on, pearl off which for those are are not knitters 
uh, those are two different it it's type of um, knitting that you do this one also just made this one they have uh, chalkboard paint so I painted my painted this bottle with the chalkboard paint decorated it with these little stones and then I covered it in Mod Podge which you can get at Dollar Tree now but the Mod Podge wiped off my chalk so after it dried I went back with a paint pen then once you decorate the bottle you can put stuff inside the little bottles of bubbles that would be great um, they have other things you know there's so many little toys you can put all kinds of fun stuff again bath bombs things like that so you can really go to town and they've got so much stuff that you can decorate these things with so let's go over some of the materials I'm gonna use today um, first grade idea they sell these rolls that are shelf and drawer liner washable and durable and they're adhesive 18 inches by 1.5 yards which is a pretty decent amount so you can easily just take some of this cut it to size do a wrap and it adheres, so you can do that and then you can also coat it with the Mod Podge if you want which the Mod Podges come in these little bottles this one is the glossy but I also have the matted I like shine I like the gloss so that's an option they also have these diamond ribbons or they have this diamond ribbon adhesive this one has a sticky on it which is what the I used for the red you also have these cool little foil thingies it's a ribbon they have tool you can do tool um, I thought these were adorable these cute little bows you could easily glue them on but I think I think these ones the back is a sticky pad but still I would I would put a little glue just to be extra cautious if you really wanted to do something fun and make it pop they have fun glittery stars so when I was pulling all my stuff out I was thinking oh I should do one USA and crafters corner is now even carrying cricket stuff which crafters corner I'm gonna tell you guys you rock so this is transfer tape and they have so they have vinyls that come in this box unfortunately my Dollar Tree didn't have any colors they only had the transfer tape but they did have these sheets of vinyl and these are iron-ons and they're all glitters so I got these three colors and no I didn't buy just these three packs I there's a hefty stack over there <laughs> and a weeder I will tell you right now these things are expensive if you buy and I have I have the Cricut weeder and I paid a pretty penny and so when I saw this I was like oh how do you pass it? how do you say no a dollar so I have two now so for today I thought how cute would it be if we did a bottle USA style so the only thing is is when I did decide to do this the iron-on is not adhesive you have to iron it that's gonna melt the bottle so I went ahead and I just used my regular Cricut vinyl and I already have my USA cut out on my mat waiting I love my Cricut Joy it's so tiny but this is what I have and so I now use this
if you're if you're like me and you have just a limited amount of craft space and you want to start doing Cricut but the other machines are pretty big then I would say go with the Cricut Joy yeah your projects can't be big full sheeted things but that's okay because sometimes just breaking it up and then puzzling it together it's not that hard it's great for small spaces because it stores tiny and it's so cute so how do you say no when you buy these bottles they all come with this little sticker that says BPA free but sometimes they'll leave a little uh, on there but don't stress because Dollar Tree so a little bit of this on a little cotton pad which again they sell it at Dollar Tree we'll get that off so just a little bit of this rub it on there poof it's gone you're going to decorate the white one USA I'm gonna go to town I've got red and blue figured that on the white bottle with my USA I might put a bow I haven't decided yet but I figured that would be really cute something fun for everyday water or really want to decorate for um, 4th of July say you're having a 4th of July party and you want your guests to have something to take home bunch of these put USA on it perfect little thanks for coming to my party gift and it's one dollar for that a dollar for each package which all of those diamonds you're gonna decorate a good amount of bottles you know and then if you can find the regular Cricut vinyl from Dollar Tree in colors and you cut it instead of using Cricut vinyl you're not gonna be out that much money it's a few bucks and you know you're just telling your friends and family hey thanks this is awesome and that's this is what I used to do this one this is the chalkboard paint uh, we're gonna use this uh, I thought it would be fun to do on the blue so we'll paint this with this and then again we're gonna use some more blue diamonds and we'll decorate it and in that way let's say your friends come over you've got a bunch of these painted and you've got your chalk they sell these at Dollar Tree you can get colored or white whichever you want have these painted in the chalk paint sitting out on a table with the chalk and your friends come over and they grab whatever color chalk they want they can draw on their bottle whatever they want and as the night goes on they can write on each other's little bottles do whatever they want and then they've got a little souvenir to take home we're gonna do USA we're gonna do chalk uh, diamond we're gonna diamond this one to death with this sheet of diamonds I have this cute fun style and I don't know what I want to do with it yet but I'm I know as I'm going it something's gonna come up something's gonna pop in my head and I'm gonna be like oh, do that so okay so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna change up the angle and um, let's get started yay
Okay, so we're done with all the bottles and I really hope you guys enjoy how they turned out. We're gonna start with the purple. I did run out of the uh, diamonds, so I have to go to Dollar Tree. I'll buy one more sheet and finish it off all the way down to the bottom. But for now, uh, it's cute. It's got that fun girl blingy feel. So, you know, it's a great idea, especially if you've got kids that are, say, cheer squad or dance team, any kind of thing that, you know, the bling <laughs> would uh, definitely be a part of. So, and I mean, how do you go wrong when it's a dollar bottle and it's a dollar for the sheet of these diamonds but we know that for this bottle you do need just a little bit more of a second sheet it's a great idea it's a fun little water bottle and you know once this is finished in the resin and the resins cured then you could go back with your Cricut vinyl and put like each person's name on it uh, like I said, there's so many things you can do, and there's no reason to spend so much money. Dollar Tree is a great idea DIYs. Now for the USA bottle. I love this. Um, as I was putting away my vinyl and everything, I noticed I had these already pre-cut, these little stars. So I went ahead and added them. Just a little 
little extra but all the way around it's totally cute a little bling on top just a simple little bit on the bottom so totally perfect for you know door gifts like I said if you're having a 4th of July party in a few months make a few of these you could put um, like those glow sticks the red white and blue glow sticks that you know they sell at Dollar Tree um, those little bottles of bubbles things like that and that could, this could be a great hey thanks for coming to my party little door gift so this is fun and of course last but not least the chalkboard this turned out so much fun so it's chalk it's a chalkboard thing is is as you're going through the night and you're writing on each other's bottles you know you have to remember it's chalk it does wipe off very easily just comes right off but it's still fun DUI ideas. So this is my favorite. I am definitely going to keep this one for myself. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed these bottles and I hope I gave opened up some ideas for you. And as always, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and also share my video. You can share them on your Facebook, tell your friends, and hopefully they'll think they like my videos too and they'll click the subscribe button. But all the way around, thank you very much for watching. Again, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and I hope you guys enjoy your Easter weekend and um, I will see you on my next video. Bye.